all right guys welcome back to another video today we are out here fishing after work it's a friday and uh we're just gonna see what we can get into i got about three three and a half hours to fish and it's nice and cloudy out uh there were some rain sprinkles on the way here but uh i don't think it's supposed to rain here where i am so we'll uh we'll see what we can get into i'm not gonna spend too much time on the intro here just because it's probably gonna be like a short little video i don't even know if we're gonna get into any fish or not so uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video and leave a comment below after you watch the video and let me know what you thought and leave any suggestions for future videos and let's go ahead and get into the fishing. First fish is a tiny fall fish. <laughs> also not a good sign. This is how my last after work trip started. As you guys know, <clears throat> we started off with a creek chub. I did have a few fish that looked like they kind of almost took on like the swing. I was sort of like not paying attention though, unfortunately. So I didn't get a chance at a hook set on them. But we've been fishing for about 15 minutes now. And we got about three, three and a half hours to fish. Hopefully we can pick up some fish and maybe a few nice ones. Now that I believe is a trout. No, another fall fish. That's sort of discouraging. Fish just rose above me though, so that's encouraging. <clears throat> and that is another, now this is a brownie. This is the first trout. First trout of the day. All of those fish were on the stone fly, stone pheasant. Nice to see a trout finally. I believe though it's probably, and again, this is typical of spring. We're getting up towards the, the meat of the run instead of the tail end of the run. So we're probably gonna get into more fish up here. So not very surprising, but definitely good to see that we're getting into some fish. All right, so right out in front of this tree is where I saw that fish rise. So we'll see if we can hook into a, a brown here. Should be able to tuck a few uh, drifts right up under this tree branch though, because there's like a little open area right to the right here. And usually nice overhanging branch. There's also a little seam, a boulder seam, it seems like right there, right under the branch. So could be the recipe for success. There's a fish. He's off to the races. This is definitely a brown, I think. I think he's actually on the tag fly though. So that would be the France fly. No, he's on the stone fly. Nice fat little brownie. Nice little fish. Get him back in. <clears throat> so yeah, he was actually a little bit over towards that bank. Um, it's gonna be hard to actually get a few good casts in there though because this tree branch, I actually think I'm gonna move up and fish and then drift down into it. I think that'll just work out a lot better and I won't have to spook anything. So now we're getting into like the main part of the run. I don't think uh, I don't think the fish will be too shy of these runs though. Now we've kind of we've broken the. I mean, we found fish at the head of runs two weeks ago, so I don't think they'll be too shy of sitting up in here looking for some food. I mean, obviously they're still gonna migrate towards those slow seams and stuff like that 
soft cushions, but uh, if you get like a really aggressive fish that is just heavily feeding, they're gonna be sitting out in the run actually, just picking off a ton of food. So spring's really like the only time of year that you really wanna, you know, oh, this is a good fish. Spring's really the only time of year that you really wanna focus on directly in the runs. Oh yeah, this is a uh, nice fish. It's like nice 16, 17. And maybe not, maybe like 16, 15, but still he's doing some nice head shakes. Get him up here. He's on the stone fly. No, no, don't roll. You don't need your rolling. Holy cow, this fish is fat. It's a wild fish too. All right guys, <clears throat> I'm pretty certain that that's a wild fish and it feels like he has multiple fish in him. That is just a fat wild fish. Those were definitely not bugs inside his belly. Too fat. And I could feel like a mass in there. <laughs> and uh, I know I was talking about, you know, the fish probably sitting up in those runs, but that fish was over in that soft seam, but I mean, that's pretty typical of a big fish, a bigger fish, I should say. A bigger fish like those soft seams where they don't have to expend all that energy. And uh, a lot of times the smaller fish, I mean, you'll find big fish sitting out in those runs, but a lot of times the, f the smaller fish are the ones that get pushed out into the runs because the big fish are sitting in those prime lies. So another thing too in spring is you have like a lot of people tell you to fish all of the seams, even the inner seams, but a lot of times in the spring, especially on super pressured water, I kind of skip the, uh, the inner seams because I find that on pressured water, those fish just do not tend to sit in the, not saying that they don't push into there, it's just that there's so many people like in and out of those areas on the inner seams, like where I'm standing right now daily that the fish don't even have a chance to push back into there. So a lot of times they're pushed to the far bank or about mid river. Now winter, fall, you know, any other time of year, I will fish definitely those inner seams, focus on those a lot when I don't think that there's been someone there in like a day or so. But this very easily could have been fished today. All right, we're hooked up. Didn't turn the camera on. But uh, I believe this is on the uh, brown simple betas. Yep, on the little brown simple betas. It's a beautiful little fish. He's got some nice colors on him. Caught him a little close into this uh, brush pile there. The water's actually up. <clears throat> um, I mean, it's fishable, but it's, it's on the higher side actually. And these runs through here are actually pretty shallow. I've never actually fished this section before. Forgot to mention that. So this is all new to me. There we go. <clears throat> right along that bank over there. Get up here, buddy. Oh, he popped off. <clears throat> Wasn't too big. I couldn't really tell what he's on either. There's a fish, tiny guy, but we'll take him. Looks like he's on the stone fly. Actually, no, he's on the brown simple betas. You guys are probably sick of me saying that at this point, but it's a good fly. Catch a lot of fish on it. There we go. Better fish. Sort of like on the swing. Oh, popped off. And I actually don't believe that was a better fish. I think he was using that current to his advantage.
There we go. A little better fish. Hopefully we can get this one in. Come up here, bud. Come here. A little fighter. Jeez. No. There he is. And that was on the simple betas. Nice little fish. Probably the prettiest fish of today and best looking one so far. Get him back. There's a fish over on that bank. Tiny guy again. Took the stone fly. It's a pretty fish. He's got like a real silver look to him. <clears throat> All right, there's a fish. Yeah, they're definitely, uh, they're not in the, the backs of the runs because I've drifted through some pretty slow water at the back of this run and all of the runs that I've hit and I just don't get anything. And then once I get up here where the water's moving a little bit, we get into some fish. Uh, that was a little simple beta seeder. Get that out of his mouth and get him on his way. There's a fish on the stone fly. Oh, he just popped off. Kind of got him like as I was pulling my line out to recast. Another little fish. I'm hoping that I'm catching all these little fish and then once we get up to the head of that run, the bigger fish will be sitting up there. He was on the tag fly, and you guys know what that is. There's a little brownie. Better size than the ones we were catching down there. And he was on the stone fly. Nice little fish. As soon as I cast it over in there, he took. <clears throat> Oh, I'll tell you what, I'm tired out. I just walked up through a ton of water and my thighs are killing me. That's the most water I've walked through in a while. Just a bunch of dead water, basically. <clears throat> it was good, like, dry fly water, but I uh, I looked around. I didn't see anything rising, so it's not really much popping off right now. I mean, there's some midges in the air, but other than that, that's about it. Another fish. Feels like a better one. Eh, not too bad. <clears throat> Dang it, popped off too. <clears throat> There's a fish on the betas. 
really need to come up with a better name for those flies instead of simple betas. <laughs> I just named it the simple betas because uh, I didn't know what to name it really. And it's not like a fly I came up, up with. I found it in that box, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think I should call that pattern. The, the pattern that we call the simple betas, I think it just needs a better name. I'm sick of calling it the simple betas. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up the day. Not a bad day for about three hours of fishing. Picked up quite a bit of fish. A lot of them were small, but like you guys say, fish is a fish, and you know it's a fun time out on the water just getting uh, getting some flies wet. So uh, I caught, I think one. I caught, yeah, I caught one real nice one right there at the beginning. It was super chunky, and I think I caught one other one that was pretty good size, maybe like a 12, 13 incher. But yeah, like I said, not a bad day. Most of the fish that we picked up were on the brown simple betas, I believe. And uh, I caught some on the stonefly as well. I was kind of just using the stonefly to get the, the other fly down, like I explained in my top five spring nymphs video. Because the flow is actually uh, on the higher side right now, I know it looks kind of normal, but for this creek, it's a little high right now. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. It's probably about seven o'clock. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like on the video and comment below. Let me know what you thought of this video and leave any suggestions for future videos. And until next time, peace.